Earlier this year, not long before the lockdown back in March, we opened a new exhibition here in Kilmainham Jail. It was called Recycle, Repurpose, Reimagine, Transforming Objects in Kilmainham Jail. And it looked at the way that objects change and are transformed over time. Among the objects in, on display were these rosary beads, which belonged to Captain Nola Mass. He was a veteran of the 1916 Rising and had also fought in the Irish War of Independence. He was a prisoner several times, including uh, a period here in Kilmainham Jail. He was talented at drawing and doing little sketches, and some of them appeared in uh, autograph books belonging to his comrades. During the Civil War, um, he took the Republican side and he was captured by the Free State, but managed to escape and then made his way to London. And he waited out in um, England until the war ended. He returned and in July of 1923, he had resumed his position with Dublin Corporation. But while he was out on his lunch break on the 3rd of July, he was taken by um, some agents of the Free State and it is believed that then he was tortured and subsequently killed. His body was found in the feather beds just up in the Dublin mountains on the 13th of October 1923. So this is the feather beds in the Dublin mountains and it was here that uh, Captain Noel Amass's body was found on the 13th of October uh, 1923. You can just see the memorial there. So as you can see, quite a bleak spot. Um, and this is where his body was brought after he was killed. We've just taken the rosary beads down so we can have a closer look at them. Back in the 1920s it wouldn't have been at all unusual for a Catholic man or woman to have a set of rosary beads on their person. In fact, in many ways, they would have treated these rosary beads the same way as we would treat our wallet or our keys or our phone, something they would have always had upon their person. After the discovery of the body on the 13th of October, there was an inquest held to discover what had happened to Captain Noel Amass, and his father John testified at that inquest. He mentioned the rosary beads. He said, a rosary beads was found on him, that was his. There was very little flesh on the body. The rosary beads were rusted. The killing of Captain Noel Amass was a particularly heinous crime, an act of extrajudicial execution. But I suppose what makes it particularly terrible was the fact that in July of 1923, the war was supposed to be over. In many ways, these rosary beads act as a reminder to us that when it comes to war and in in particular when it comes to civil war, the after effects and the bitterness lives long after the official event has ended.